Hey everybody, so today I want to talk a little bit more about what we're going to be doing here on RetroTech in 2020, and this is going to be for March, and then I also wanted to talk about what monitors that not only we're going to be repairing and restoring uh, for the month, but also which ones we're going to be listing for sale and kind of which ones will not be for sale. First up, you might have already seen the first video on this monitor, but this is a 14 N6U, and there was, again, a little bit of a mod video that we did uh, a, about a week ago. So this one will first off be uh, completely restored and future-proofed in a couple of videos, and we'll also go through and show you how to calibrate this one because this is not a monitor that I've really covered before. So the N-series now will get covered. This one does do RGB, so that's kind of why I've been waiting to cover this particular monitor more in depth, but we're go I'm going to show you the entire um, process of recapping. We're going to do this entire board. Uh, we're not going to just do the smaller section of caps like you might have seen in some other uh, PVMs that have been restored or future-proofed. This one's we're going to do the full thing because there's not as many capacitors in this. It's a little bit simpler of a board design. But it does have a full on-screen menu, and it, again, it does support composite as video and uh, as well as RGB. And then it also does 240p and 480i resolutions really well. So it's got 500 TV lines. And again, we'll do a, do a full series coming on that one with the restoration and the rebuild process. And then at the end of that one, I will announce that there will be a sale for that one, most likely through eBay and We'll just start off like the others that we have in the past where it's just, a, you know, probably a $100 auction starting point and then whatever it finishes at is it finishes at. But uh, this one will be the first one, the 14N6U. And then uh, there's another monitor that I've had and I'm getting ready to restore that I've not covered yet at all either. And that is a 1943MD, which is the predecessor to like the 53 MD and then like the 20 M2. So this one is going back uh, to the early 90s. And this particular monitor, you could see on the screen just some of the issues that it has as far as like calibration. The color, all the colors are there, but they're just not set correctly. They've just drifted out over time. The big problem too with this one is there's a lot of convergence issues on the screen that are gonna eventually have to be adjusted as well. So after that N6U, we're gonna start on this 43MD and we'll go through and I'll recap it. I probably, I don't know. We'll see if I end up doing an entire recap on this one. I know there's a lot of capacitors in this one so I doubt I'll do a complete 100% recap on it, but we'll see. And then I'm going to show you how to make adjustments on it because this one's an internal adjustment monitor. There's no service menu on it, so you have to get in and adjust internally with potentiometers and using a screwdriver in the back. So as I said, it's a 1943 MD. It was produced in 1992, so it's a very old monitor, and it does support both composite, S-video, RGB, and this one does not support component though. So that one will come. And then the last thing I'm gonna talk about is the 20L5. Cause look, a lot of people have been asking me, hey, is this one gonna be for sale? And look, I'm just gonna tell you right off the bat, it's not for sale and um, it won't be for sale, but I will be going through and doing some videos in the next couple months showing you what eventually is going to be the fate and what's happening with this monitor, but uh, I'm not going to be selling it. And I just want to say, if you get a chance, uh, it's really getting more difficult in 2020 now to, to find a good multi-format monitor, especially a larger one. I've come across quite a few 14-inch like BVMs that are D-series or even an A-series one, uh, but not so many and then you know 14l5s but not so many 20 inch ones they're really getting harder to get um and there's just not as many of them that are out there that are for sale because a lot of people have gone ahead and gobbled them up and are holding on to them which is fine but just know that if you find one you might want and you really want one 
Uh, you might want to just try to get it if it's if it's what you're really wanting. It's just getting more difficult to get them. But I hope you can use the information from the L5 series to you know help you get your L series calibrated and set up perfectly and maybe even future proofed if you want to go through and order that cap kit. I'll be trying to make a cap kit or you know at least some kind of cap kit or list available to Patreons for the N series as well as the 43MD series and then uh, the L5 I'd probably not going to provide a complete cap kit for that because again there's some other parts and I would just for the most part uh, right now say go with save on Pat's kit and um, I probably won't though be providing a full on cap kit for this monitor like I do the other ones. So that's kind of a little bit of bad news, but it's okay. It's not, um, the L series is something that, you know, the problem with it is the caps are still really good in most of them. And they're, um, the caps that Sony used inside of them are really high quality, especially in this L5, 14 or 20 inch L5. So, um, they will last a very long time, and uh, it's it's more of an issue of you know are the replacement caps we're putting in them going to be even better than the ones that are already in them? So as of right now, I know that um, I will I will try to service them on occasion, but I won't probably be providing the cap kits for this monitor. But that's pretty much going to do it for this issue or episode. Uh, that's what's going to be happening in March. And I will, again, have some more other videos, not just those two monitors, but those are going to be the big projects. And then, again, the N6U, 14-inch, uh, and then the 1943 MD. Both of those in March will be available uh, at auctions to purchase if you're interested. So thanks again, and I'll see you guys next time with some more retro content.